Hi everyone and a very warm welcome to the 1 or February monthly tournament from SD League. The reason for no Super League is that with Monday's update, they appear to have broken a load of the replays. I'm not entirely sure why, but I have let you gen know. And they're all coming up as invalid, so I can't really continue with the Super League at the moment. But I thought why not take a look at the actual February monthly league, which is going on right now. Today we're going to be watching Lathans and Coops Diablo. Coops playing on the right in red as the key KDA. And over on the left, we have Lathans playing as the 82nd Airborne Division. Obviously, both players with plenty of forward deployment troops here. As it stands, Coops obviously has quite a lot at the top here and a reasonable amount at the bottom. Plenty of Strellas and things coming in at the back there. Whether some of this is going to the center, let's have a look. All of that's coming to the top. I don't see anything going to the center there. Any of this? Oh, some of this is going to the center. But that's it. Just something from here. So not a lot going to the center for Coops. We seem to have plenty going to the center for Lathans, though. Some military police and some anti-air. Just a command there for Lathans, though, at the top. And down here we have quite a lot. Lathans, obviously putting his eggs in the Echo Basket. We'll be coming up against a reasonable sized force from Coops though. Coops will certainly outnumber Lathans at the top, but at the same time, Lathans will have control of that center point. Now the center point is actually worth two, and it depends how aggressive Lathans is here. If he just sits at that side, he's not gonna gain much ground. But as it stands, it doesn't look like Coops is sending anything to the center. He's just sending something here more defensively, I assume. It could even be just the command that's... In fact, it is just the command that's going there. So actually, Coops isn't sending anything to Charlie and Delta other than the command. Now, this is obviously a bit of a race against time, but the reality is Coops will get there first because he starts closer to this side and the aim is to get into the town basically so he will beat Lathans there but Lathans will not be far behind Lathans also bringing in an Apache to assist with that push early game though he will need to be careful as there are two Strellas on the way in there Coops actually has two commands as does Lathans Lathans capped all three of these points and is currently plus two I'm sure we'll be seeing exactly the same from Coops very shortly. Lathans with just one Fireteam Dragon at the top there. Coops has a lot of units in this area. I wonder if Coops could actually push all the way around to India. It is a distinct possibility. This command is just going to sit outside of Echo for the time being. He is a MiG-23 coming in to take out that Apache. Does not get the kill, but... These Strellas will put that under sustained fire in a moment. Jet is actually killed by the Avenger at the back here. Strellas have finished off that chopper in very short order. There is a Recon Bradley heading around here and there is a Recon Humvee up at the top there. Lathan's own A-10 rocket attack coming in to go for those spets. That's by the looks of it. Very, very devastating. It will take fire from these Strellas, but at the moment they're missing. I suspect he's going to get out of there intact. Bradley being used to good effect for long-range fire support here against Coop's units. But Coop's in a good position at the top here, pushing quite aggressively straight towards India. I mean, there's nothing there from Lathans at the moment, so technically he could push into India... Lathan's now calling some units in to defend there. Lathan's in control of the center point. He's currently plus three, which he will be pleased with. This command is just sitting at the back here. This one, I assume, will be heading up to Foxtrot. Some more reinforcements coming in towards the center now. Looks more like Coops is going for a defensive positioning in Charlie. Admittedly, Lathan's isn't being too aggressive in Delta at the moment. He doesn't realize that Coops has nothing in there. More reinforcements coming in down at the bottom side of the map there for Echo. Echo, not a lot left in here for Coops now. Lathan's obviously in a much firmer control. Another A-10 rocket coming in at the top here, I think. That could actually be the one that was down at the bottom. I think he may have just flown it up there. 
I think that's the burning wreck of the MiG-23. These forces pushing up slowly, including some decent anti-air there, which will be very good against that rocket attack. Obviously, all these airborns coming in here. They are engineers flash as well. Good push from Coops, though. He's got really far up. If he can contest that corner, he could at least get a command in there and neutralize all the points. Currently, Lathan's still out at plus two due to holding the center. Looks like Coops is making a little bit of a move now, just moving some forces a little bit closer to Delta. Obviously, neither player knows the positioning here, so Lathans will assume that Coops has stuff at this side. Coops will assume Lathans has stuff at this side. That A-10... Running out of fuel quite rapidly now. Chopper has been taken out by the anti-air guns there. Engineer's Flash will be useful against these infantry, but there are Spetsnaz there with their own RPO launchers. This A-10 is about to go into a lot of anti-air fire. It's taking plenty of damage. I'm not sure they're going to kill it, though. Oh, oh. MiG-23 might get the kill. MiG-23 does get the kill, but MiG-23 is down as well. The F-15 Eagle takes it out. Eagle now engaging with the MiG-23. MiG-23 is taken out by the Avenger, though. Strella takes a shot at the F-15, does do it some damage, F-15 is being evac'd, will probably survive, unless one of these anti-air units can just get a little clip on it. No, it's gone off the edge of the map, it's quite safe now. Very lucky escape for the F-15, quite a few losses of aircraft for so early in a game once more. Nathan's in reasonable control of this point at the moment. We'll be pleased with that. Did expend a lot of resources here early. Has now switched focus up to the top of the map to take out these forces pushing in from Coops. Coops bringing in another jet, a bomber this time. Obviously still has the Avenger to contend with. Nice strike coming in. Killed one squad. Managed to take out the supply unit as well, but didn't kill the other two squads. Is escaping without being hit by that Avenger. Down at the bottom here, Coops attempting to get back into this point, but unfortunately is going in a little bit piecemeal, and with not a huge amount of units, the reality is Lathans has a lot in there. He has resupplied those units, and he has some crossfire from the Bradley down here. So he's in a really good position right now. Unfortunately, these Strellas obviously will stand no chance against the infantry in there. So really good positioning from Lathans here to have this at the side just to fire across at any units that attempt to get into that point from that angle. More units coming in here now, including an Abrams. This is just to reinforce that point and make sure that Coops can never get back in there. Center of the map, still not a lot of movement. Coops obviously pushing up the Spetsnaz now, getting closer and closer to this point. I kind of wish he had shifted this command vehicle up there already, as it would at least neutralize the points. Because currently, obviously, Lathan's out ahead at plus two. And those points are ticking up slowly. We're still early in the game. We're only seven minutes in. Bradley here being used to good effect with his long-range missiles. For some reason, the Toe 2s always miss for me. But for everyone else, they hit every time. I'm just really unlucky with them. Coops retreating his Strellas now. I think that's wise. Just save them. Get them into a defensive position. I don't think it's worth pushing them up. He has to be careful with that T-62 as well because that Bradley may have a good line of sight on that T-62 if it goes into the edge of that forest there. A little bit of movement here from that command. Where is it going? It is going to the center now. Okay, good. So Coops has realized he can push in there. That's fantastic. He is bringing in more reinforcements as well. Some of them seemingly are coming a little bit far back, but will be shifting in. T-62 coming up here to defend this point. 
Whether Lafans attempts to push Foxtrot, I'm not entirely sure he will. Where are these reinforcements going? They are going towards the center. I would imagine if Lafans ends up pushing anything at this point, he will attempt to push Delta all the way through and make sure that Coops cannot stay in the other side of it. I think Foxtrot is a more difficult location to attack if Coops can get plenty of defenses there as there is a lot of open ground here where realistically Delta there's a lot of cover to dot between and move your infantry through and vehicles here again pushing out from Echo into Alpha there's a lot of open ground admittedly there's not a lot defending for Coops at that point but I just I can't imagine Lafans making a move out of here. I feel like what he's got here is more defensive in nature. It's mostly infantry. It's more deemed to hold. Though he did, of course, bring in that tank, which is just sat at the back there. But again, could be very much just for defensive purposes. It doesn't have to be used for attacking. Lafans marking the anti-air unit there. He doesn't actually have any artillery in on the map, so I'm not sure he's planning to attack it. He is being a little bit aggressive, maybe he's pushing stuff up, but again, this could just be defensive. I'm not convinced that Lathans will attack this point. Command finally in to neutralize the center. Lathans way ahead though at 796 points, almost halfway to the win. With 30 minutes, or just over 30 minutes left of this game. Tank coming in here, where is it going is the question. It is just coming to India. Now, again, this could be defensive in nature, or it could be with the intent of eventually pushing Foxtrot. And there is only a tank and an anti-tank gun there, and these recon. Tank being used to good effect against the fighting dragon, though. Chopper taken out over here. More reinforcements coming in, some heading to here, some coming to the centre. Coops being a little bit more assertive, a little bit more aggressive in the centre here, bringing in loads of reinforcements. Look at all of this. All of this is slowly making its way to the centre. A little bit standoffish maybe in that a lot of it is stopping sort of behind the point, but obviously Coops doesn't know what's in this town, for example. I think Lathans will stick where he is here. I'm pretty settled on that now. I think more reinforcements will come in here for Coops from time to time, but I can't imagine he's going to launch a full-out assault on that point again. A little bit of engagement in the center. Lathan's just edging up a little bit. Lafan's making good use of those military police to fire from range against these infantry. They are engaged by these KDA Suchin, though, at much closer range. KDA Suchin is quite a big squad, but is stunned and has low cohesion. Ah. So I do know that uh, Coop's units are not ranked up, obviously, because they're KDA Suchin. So... They also suffer from the reservist trait, which makes them more suppressible in combat. That is negated if you have military police, but I don't think there are any military police at the moment. So while they are a very large squad, they obviously become suppressed and lose their cohesion very, very quickly. I think, was that another jet going down or was that a chopper? There's certainly the MI2 taking fire from the center of the map here. Stagnated at the top. Stagnated at the bottom. All the fighting is now going to be in the center here. That's whoever can push through. Lafans right now seems to have more forces sort of actively engaging. And obviously his forces are ranked up to at least veteran. They don't have the reservist trait and therefore can be a little bit more aggressive. Aren't going to drop their cohesion. Certainly not as quickly as Coop's units will. And Coop's advantage here is obviously he can flood in loads of stuff because it's very cheap. But it's just not going to be that effective. 
Overwhelming force may work, it may also not work. A little bit of movement down here. Coop's just getting to the edge of that forest, immediately being hit by Tank and the Bradley. He's lost one of his little transport vehicles. KDA Suchin trying to push up, immediately engaged by the M67 police and the tank and the Flash Engineers. Once they get in range, we'll start firing their flame launcher. There is another Engineers Flash behind them as well. There's too much cover here. There's no way those units are getting anywhere near this town. There's just way too much there. A little bit of a distraction maybe, some pioneers coming in here as well, but again, they're just not going to get near this town. They're going to take fire from everything around. F-16 CC coming in there. Just scouting for something to kill. There is a MiG-23 anti-air jet in. It's going to fly straight over all the air defences here though. An Avenger and a Stinger. Stinger has fired and there's an F-15 in and it is dead. I mean, I think the ground air defense were probably going to get the kill anyway, but the F-15 was there just in case. Yeah, KDA Suchin pulled back. They're just simply way too much there. Back to the center. Lots of reinforcements coming in for Lathans as well. Some reinforcements slowly coming in for Coops down here. Motsuchin obviously a better choice in that they don't have the reservist trait and they also have their lovely flag there which means that they are resolute and their cohesion is better than normal units so they're well placed to engage here not the biggest squad and are taking lots of fire from these 12.7 millimeter machine guns at the back which isn't ideal especially for these ones out in the open a little bit better if they are in a building obviously Pack firing across at these guys though. Seemingly not doing much damage unfortunately for him. Down at the bottom, not a lot of movement here, but supplies coming in for Lathan's units and he is moving up another squad just to reinforce those guys at the front. A couple of T-62s called in here as well. It could be that Coops is thinking about doing another attempted push here. Could also be quite risky. Up at the top, we do see a little bit of movement from Lathans. He is sort of pushing around the top with a few units here. Obviously coming up against those pack D44s. Which are putting down plenty of fire. Alf Clara, unfortunately, against those Flash, suffering quite a lot. They are pretty small squads, only four members each. One Engineer's Flash team should die here to the fire from those tank guns. The others are maybe too far back to be seen. Let's have a look. Yes, indeed, they are too far back, and both the Alf Clara are dead. Whether Lathans continues to try and push around there is up for debate. Battle ongoing here. Lathans is progressing through this town slowly. Has loads more reinforcements sat at the back, ready to move in. Well, Lathans backing off a little bit there. I'm not sure why. I think he's just taking his time. He's in no rush here. He's well ahead in points. Technically, the onus is on Coops to make a push because he needs to start ticking up points. So he does technically have to make a move somewhere. Lathans is quite a brutal player. He's a very good player. And generally speaking, he will keep pushing. I've never seen him sit and wait. He will eventually keep pushing somewhere, even if the onus is on the other player to be more aggressive. Lathans will always try and push and he is moving up all these engineers flash now engineers can use satchel charges against these light vehicles with decent effect obviously engineers flash ripping apart the KDA Suchin in this building cohesion is low the building has collapsed reinforcements being called in by Chinook now some of those aero rifles Coops getting a push round at the top here though is taking fire from the Sheridans Unfortunately, he's probably going to lose these units, but a good little push at the top there to get round the back. Obviously, wanting to kill that command vehicle. 
Not a lot of movement at the top. Down at the bottom here, not really much movement at all. Not sure what happened to those two tanks that were being called in. Either they've been redirected or he cancelled that. Very possibly cancelled it. Lots more reinforcements coming into the centre here, but Lathans has a good front line going on. Moving his units around suitably to make sure he can engage the right types of units. I think these engineers are unfortunately out of satchel charges, so it can no longer engage this vehicle. He needs those military police moved up slightly so that they can engage. Oh, they're out of their recallers rifle rounds as well, so I take it back. Stinger obviously can't engage them. These military police also depleted. I think that's why these arrow rifles have been called in. That explains that. Lathans would correct me. That's why he's called the arrow rifles in to deal with this vehicle. Supply back here. And some more supply coming in for the center. A little bit of artillery use here just to soften up this front line. Not... Still not entirely sure Lathans is going to push there, but he could well at some point decide to do that. I still think he wants to control the center point at the moment, and he's got a good fight going on for it right now. Again, I just don't think there's going to be any movement at the bottom here. I think it's going to be here and potentially some kind of shift at the top at some point. But right now, Lathans in a good position. Those air rifles are in, have managed to take out that vehicle. Air rifles just sitting back at the moment. A lot of attention up here by... Coops. He is obviously pushing quite aggressively against Lathans up here and is managing to take out quite a few units. Sheridan's in position now though to stop more pushes at that side. Artillery pieces in for Coops as well now. Taking shots on these buildings here. I assume trying to take out the engineers there. Lots of pioneers moving in here. Pioneers obviously not the best units anymore since they have to be sat still to use their satchels however in a town that's almost ideal because you're going to be close enough to be throwing the satchels like this squad here are and you have the protection of the buildings and you don't have to move you are just permanently sat still in the buildings so very effective use of that pioneer squad there did a lot of damage to those airborne engineers who are themselves out of satchel charges Good use of tank supportive fire from the back from Lathenzo against these units here. But equally, I think Coop's doing a good job. He's pushing from both sides at once to some extent. Really, these engineers a little bit far back need to be a bit further forward. This one in particular added a lot of risk from these units over here. And the reason, I was about to say, the reason that they're getting shots into the town from back here is that they are up on a hill. I don't know if you can see that. This one is firing in the town. You wouldn't think you could see that. But if you actually click in the town, I think we just saw. You see there's sort of some clear bits at the top of that. Uh, if I select those, for example, you see there's a clear patch on top of some of Lathan's units. I think it's just that they can see into the town just a bit. HE Bomber came in there, immediately taken out by all the anti-air. Good strike, though. Has killed a lot of units there with that strike. There are a lot of units piled up in that area. Coop still will be very pleased with that one. I didn't see where the bombs dropped, so... When they actually landed, very effective. Very, very effective. Pioneers being pushed up here against these engineers. Again, the engineers have nothing left of their satchel charges. The pioneers, if they could get close enough and weren't attacking from range, would actually be decimating these guys because of those satchels. He needs to get the pioneers up close and personal. He is shifting them now. Lathan's actually retreating a bit from the town. Pulling his forces here back, which are currently under fire from the artillery. Oh, what a lovely strike from that artillery piece on those retreating units. Can he get another good shot? Some of these units being pulled in here to try and deal with these pioneers that are pushing up now. Coops with some really, really effective strikes there. First the bomber. Yes, he lost it, but he killed a lot of stuff. And then obviously with the artillery and these units pushing up here. Very, very effective. Has forced Lathans to retreat there. Very little movement here. We are seeing, though, some units... I think pulled from this point, now moving towards the centre to come in behind Coop's units. 
Very little movement at the top. We do see that Abrams is just sort of teetering at the edge there. This pack is, I think, firing at the Abrams. Can just see it and has got a missile hit on it. Now, Lafans is going to be focusing on the center at the moment. He may or may not have noticed that. Second missile goes in, hits again. It is now stunned. And yeah, going for that seed. Another missile hit on the Abrams. Abrams has now smoked. Will stay alive on this occasion. Again, good artillery use from Coops right now to push this point a little bit. Lafan still remaining ahead. 16 minutes left to go in this game. We are well over the halfway mark. But look at this. Lots and lots of units coming in from this side now. Loads and loads of units coming in from this side. Lathan's pushing across the water as well. Coming in round behind Coops. I think he was going for a kill on that UAZ. I think Coops has realised what's going on. Because as you'll note, he is moving all of his artillery and the command out the way. Very good manoeuvre here from Lafans to get around behind Coops and cut him off. But equally, Coops, with a response to that, a recon chopper and an attack chopper. Tanks now being called in down here as well. This could be his saving grace. There is an Avenger pushing up though, and there are some Apache rocket attack choppers there. But this MI-24P could maybe manage to kill these Sheridans here. Ah, uh, Avengers being pushed right up to the other side of the water. So actually, I think this chopper will be in danger. I thought he was just going to push it up to here, but he has moved it all the way across to reinforce his units. So this is very much an encircling motion now by Lathans. He's repurposed some of the units that were in Echo, moved them up to the top here. He's moving the Bradleys across as well now. MI2... Are oh, the MI-24 very soon going to be hit by those Avengers, I think. Coops pushing quite hard here. Unfortunately, is now losing units. Doesn't have a lot there. Lathan's managed to save a lot of his. And there's got a lot of Sheridans in here. Brilliant fire support against the edge of this town. Very, very effective. Coops has accidentally moved his command out of the point. I think it's auto gone to cover which means it's back to plus two for Lathans already ahead now ticking up towards the halfway mark of a thousand points 14 minutes left to go HE bomber coming in here going for a strike at the front MI24 taking a lot of fire from that Avenger Avenger did a good job there Lathans shifted all his units out of the way of those bombs now making an aggressive move towards this side of the back of the point. Not a lot of anti-air there, unfortunately, for Coops. He does have some anti-air, but these Apache rockets obviously now free reign to fire at some of these units in the town. And will likely have free reign to fire at a lot of the stuff at the back. Osa is getting some shots off now at those Apaches. Very effective. Unfortunately, it was also killed by the Apaches or the Bradley or possibly a Sheridan. I'm not entirely sure. Something killed it. Sheridan's now coming in and taking shots at random vehicles, including the other anti-air that's here. That is now down. Unfortunately, I think Coops is in trouble here. Lathans has pretty much surrounded his forces in the centre. There's very little, obviously, in there as he's cut off any possible reinforcements coming through. Coops trying to push a little bit at the bottom by the looks of it. But as I say, there's just so much built up there for Lathans. He knows what might have come from that way and he was ready for it. These Suchin obviously just got wrecked, so they're not going anywhere fast. I think that point was just never going to be entered. Up at the top, very little movement from either player. It's been all about what's going on in the centre. Command is back in the centre at the moment for Coops, but he is simply surrounded. His only route to reinforcement is to bring stuff up into this point and then across the river there. Bringing stuff in around the back here obviously will now be cut off by the Bradleys and the Sheridans as well as the infantry. Lathan's being quite aggressive back here, a bit spread out, but it's enough just to cut off all of those supply routes. Very, very effective decision from Lathan's there to come round and encircle the point. Now, Coops has a lot in here, but all of this now means that Lathan's doesn't need to worry about this side of the point. He can now refocus his attention and push everything towards this side. 
including obviously having fire support from this side for example from this abrams which you know could potentially get into position to fire down on these buildings more tanks coming in here for coops they are heading towards the center one is coming up here and going across that way one is going to come and try and get around the back i don't think that's going to work more attack choppers coming in as well and an anti-tank jet anti-tank jet obviously will be very effective but will take a lot of fire from these avengers as it comes across took a shot this one is actually out of ammo oh but it got hit by the one in the middle took another two missiles one from the original one and one from the guy in the center I'm sure there will be some supply coming up very quickly. Indeed, there is some supply. This Avenger is now rearmed and it is now moving up to the other one. Lathan's very quick on his supply. Command arrow rifles swinging in around the back here. This should be quite interesting. Does that still have ammo? Yes, it does. He might be about to lose these arrow rifle commands in the chopper. I imagine that Lafans was planning to swing these all the way around the top of the map and come back in and go into Bravo just to do a sneaky nab before the end of the game because obviously currently we are neutralized with 10 minutes left to go. Look at all of these choppers. Heavy hogs coming in. Chinook with more arrow rifles. Yeah, Lathans just simply has overwhelming force now. He's got so much more on the field. He's managed to kill so much of Koops' stuff. Unfortunately, Koops just doesn't stand a chance at this point. He's simply going to be overwhelmed in the centre. He's fighting till the bitter end, though. His command is still in there. Just sat at the back here. But all of Lathans infantry slowly encroaching in. Sheridan slowly encroaching in. Apache Rocket slowly encroached. Eh, there it goes. Command is dead. He's out at that point. Back to plus two for Lafans. With ten minutes left on the clock. Lafans now in total control at this point. A little sneaky T-62 rolling in the back here. May get a sneaky kill on this Abrams. Wait. No, no, no. I tell a lie. Abrams is actually facing it. Yeah, then Bradley can see it already. Bradley missile goes in. Tank shell go. Yeah. I, t I thought the uh, the Abrams might be facing the other way, but it wasn't. So it just got an instant kill there. Obviously, the T-62 coming through there can be seen by all these units as well. Multiple Bradleys firing on it with obviously those Tor 2 missiles and the tank. We'll make short work of that. Rocket attack chopper coming in at the back there, but unfortunately there's simply too much anti-air. <laughs> that uh, chopper did go in at the top there. I missed it because I was busy down here, but the anti-air unit managed to actually kill the command infantry in the chopper. This Chinook obviously also took some damage. Lathan certainly wouldn't have been expecting that. I don't think he realised it was still there. Command being brought in by Coops now. Obviously would like to head back towards the centre, I'm sure. But there's just no movement here. Command infantry round the back here for Lafans as well in Alpha. Again, sneaky, sneaky round the bottom of the map just to get it in there and cap that point. There it goes. There is a command in there though, so it is only a neutralization, but it will take him to plus four. Unless, of course, he can kill that UAZ. With eight minutes left to go, plus four for Lafans. At just over halfway mark to the points to win, I think the game is to Lafans now. Really well played though, guys. Very good effort, Coops. He did really well pushing in here and even made Lafans pull his forces back to sustain some of his infantry at one point. I don't think I could have managed that. I think he would have just ploughed straight through me. So you should be really pleased to have managed that against Lafans. Really enjoyable game though, guys. But Lafans just edging it out with that encircling manoeuvre just made all the difference to cut off all of those possible reinforcements for Coops. Obviously, Alf Clara coming in here will immediately be engaged by the arrow rifles and the arrow rifle leader. Were taken out before they even got out of the vehicle. Recon chopper being called in there, but probably won't do a lot of good. Lafans very much in control of this entire center of the map now nothing is going to be able to push across there some reinforcements coming in around the back here for coops he is sending them straight up here but they will be met by the bradley and the abrams as well as all of these heavy hogs as well there is a command helicopter coming in 
I was wondering how many of those we were going to be seeing in these tournaments now with the way that the command has changed. I imagine we're going to see that go for Charlie, at least in this corner of Charlie. And obviously it has the freedom to move around behind enemy lines as long as it can't be seen. Good use of heavy hogs here, clearing out Charlie, so he will go for the cap there. Scramble to bring in Osas to deal with these choppers. Might get a kill on that eagle as well. Nope, all missed. There we go, eagle is down. A little bit of satisfaction right at the end of the match there for Coops. Killing one of those eagles. They are a nuisance to take down because of the amount of ECM they have. Lots of forces pushing in here, obviously, for Lathans now. He has an overwhelming force, especially with all of those choppers. This command chopper will get in here. The Osas will come in to try and kill the choppers. I think the command chopper will have landed by the time they're in a good enough position to see that area. It'll be then whether Lathans tries to take off and take Bravo as well. But just six minutes or just under left of the game. Coop's fighting on till the bitter end. But I think now there's just nothing you can do. It's about to go up to plus eight for Lathans. Because this won't be a neutralization. This will be an entire capture. Here comes the landing. And there it goes. Plus six and plus eight, surely. There it goes, plus eight. You get the neutralization instantly and then have to wait till it's capped completely to get the uh, further points. Lots of reinforcements coming in down here for Coops. Wants to kill that command. Certainly getting plenty of fire down on it. A lot of reinforcements coming in at the top now for Lafans. He's making a push on Foxtrot. He's coming across the river as well. I thought he might just wait, but as I say... Never assume Lathans is going to wait. He's always pushing. He's always aggressive. He will build up forces, but he'll always keep going. And there it goes. He's even pushing into Foxtrot. He doesn't need to. He's won the game, but he will not stop. He will keep going. As I say, he is brutal, and he's very good at it. But he has just so many units on the field. I mean, it's just a tidal wave of blue everywhere. I think he will lose this command down here. But he will still be plus six with just over four minutes left. I think in a moment he's probably going to capture this point. Yeah, here we go. That command chopper floating around the back here. I, I almost expected it to go straight into Bravo, in all honesty. I didn't think he was going to bother piloting that into Foxtrot. I thought he was just going to go straight for Bravo. But I think he is going to go for Foxtrot as well. But time is ticking. And points are ticking. And the game is over. Congratulations to Lathans. Commiserations to Coops. Really well played to you both. But yes, obviously, kills to losses there. Massive, massive difference. Lathans just dominating the battlefield by the end of the game. Really well played though. Let's have a look at the kills and losses just out of interest. What was doing well there. The Avengers were performing really well in that game. Bradley got loads of kills. Bradley getting loads of kills. Airborne Engineers doing well. Again, the Avenger was doing a good job. Abrams getting plenty of kills. We'd expect that, though. Sheridan's doing a pretty good job. Again, Bradley's just doing so much damage in this game. Rocket Apache doing a pretty good job for itself. Over on the other side... Surprisingly, considering we don't see them that often, the Pack MT-12 100mm anti-tank gun doing a lot of damage and killing a lot of stuff from the other side of the river in that game, I believe. So that actually did really well. Obviously, we did have that FLA anti-air that came in at the very start, did get the aero rifle leader at the very end there, so paid for itself very much so. But nothing else really stand out there. It was all about that Pack MT-12. So, well done to that unit. I'm surprised how many kills it got. Right then, guys, let's hop straight into the next game.
And welcome to game two. So, all change this time, change of map and change of divisions. Laufan's playing on the left again in blue as the 8th Infantry, and over on the right in red we have Coops playing as the 39th Infantry. So, Infantry versus Infantry in this particular matchup. Neither player with any forward deployment, so it's all about Recon getting to places first. Thunderbolt anti-tank coming in very early on for Lafans there. Obviously to dissuade any early helicopters, perhaps. Kiwa pushing up quite far forward here. Obviously has those Hydra missiles or rockets. Cub very far back here. I just don't think that was given an order at the start, perhaps being moved up to there. Where are all these units going? So mostly a spread at the back here rather than going straight into Delta where I'm sure we will see, yeah, straight into Delta for Lathans. Lathans getting up here nice and early. I think he's actually going to beat Coops to the town. Coops is going around the back way. That's quite interesting. I'm surprised. Coops is being quite standoffish here. Letting Lathans have control of Alpha early game is a big risk because once you're sort of in this town it is very hard to dislodge someone and it's often been said that the player who started at this side and had forward deployment had a big advantage because they could get to alpha first and therefore would have control of that town so this is quite interesting because basically coops has kind of let lafans have that Coops bringing his command straight in. To, is it even coming into this point? It is coming into the very corner of this point. I can't remember. I don't think that tree line is actually in the point. Maybe it is just. It's sort of right on that borderline. But it's getting engaged by the Thunderbolt. And the Kiwa can see it. So it's immediately killed. I mean, it was up there without any support. That is very risky. Lots of stuff engaging on. Oh, Cub managed to kill the A-10. A little bit of fire support from Biriusa there, but uh, did manage to get it in one hit. The Cub obviously does 9 damage, I believe. Yeah, 9 damage. So as long as there's one pip of health gone, it will get an instant kill on any aircraft. Lots of stuff down here for Coops, but just no movement at all. And the same up here. He's got a lot in. He is now sort of moving bits and pieces up slowly. Lafan's just sitting pretty at the back here, not being aggressive, not pushing to the other side of the point. We'll be aware that most anti-air was further back, but won't know if there were any ground forces there, perhaps. Command infantry being brought in now to head towards the centre. But as we talk about all of this, Lafan's bringing in more and more to reinforce this point. Realistically, there's not a huge amount in there right now. But whatever happens beyond this point, Coops will have to either cross open ground or push in through this bottom bit, which is where I assume he's going to come in, to get into these buildings. But I feel like he's given the game away almost by letting Lathans have that town so early on. I mean, that is a huge, huge win for Lathans early game to be in control of Alpha and not have it contested. As you'll have seen many, many times playing on this map, normally Alpha is where the contest happens, where the big fight happens. Lots of mortars being called in at the back here for Coops now. We have seen once or twice very aggressive pushes on Delta to try and get to the point behind as well but that is rare we've only seen it a couple of times in tournaments it has been really effective when it's worked well but at the same time most you know nearly every single game there is a big fight over alpha and while i think there's going to be a fight i think unfortunately coops is late to the party here and i think he's going to struggle to get in he does have a reasonable amount of units there. I mean, he could easily, you know, these mortars could be used for actual mortar fire. They can be used for smoking to cover his assault. And these sapri will be very effective with their satchel charges if he can get up close and personal. But he needs to get up close and they've been spotted. The scouts in the MCAV have spotted them, so Lafans knows they're there. I'm almost envisioning a bomber or something coming out now from Lafans to hit this area. 
even at the risk of losing it to the Strella that's there. There's a tank back here and an anti-tank gun. Yeah, use of these to, to kill the Sapri, because obviously the Sapri can't really fire back at these units. MCAV obviously with its M40s doing some longer range damage. Tank is being brought up here. But there's just so much map control here for Lathans right now. Command is coming in here for Coops though. Coops has a lot at the top of this point as well. Monstrelki coming in at the back here. M60, ACAV also firing at this T60. T62 is taking a lot of fire. It is smoking. It will get out alive if it reverses. Command has made it in the top there. Still plus two to Lafans though. He's well ahead in points again early in the game. Heading towards seven minutes in. And as we saw last game, Lafans did get ahead in points, but then was, you know, balanced out a little bit after that in terms of map control. Good bombing run here from the SU-24 on these units here. Really nice strike. Did a lot of damage. He should be very pleased with that. Engineer's Flash pushing down from the center now, though. Emptied the buildings and pushing his forces down here. Will come up against all these Sapri. Sapri should be reasonably effective as long as they can get close range. Cobra is engaging on them, and the Pivads. Is the Pivads as well? No, I think it's just the Cobra. Cobra being really effective here. Obviously, there is a Strella there, but it's not in position to hit the Cobra. Mortars are now engaging. I am not sure what on yet. Sapri did come in, but I've already taken a lot of fire, and obviously, they're being hit by long-range units. The Flash obviously outranged them. The Sapri have to literally be on top of them and stood still, and unfortunately, the Sapri have just been torn apart there. Mutterstrike coming in here, and are going to be pushed into this point quite aggressively, but I envisage that, again, these guys are going to be torn apart before they even get into the point. The military police can... Oh, the smoke going here will help, though. So that's what the mortars are doing. They're smoking this area. Another HE bomber coming in. This could be another nice strike. Beautiful strike. Absolutely beautiful strike by the MiG-23 HE bomber. Took a lot of fire. Should get out alive. F-16C coming in to try and engage it, but really nice strike. Wiped out all those units there. Falcon going for the chopper. Strella going for the Falcon. Falcon manages to dodge most of that fire. Pivad's being used against the chopper now. I don't think that chopper's going to survive this. There it goes. Good push going on here. Cannon Yagpans is there, but all of this smoke stopping Lafans being able to see what's coming in. Coop's doing a little bit of manoeuvring around the top here, I do notice. Some uh, Sapri RPO up there. There is slowly more reinforcements coming into this area for Lathans. I notice he's getting some units out in this town, actually. So maybe he knows something's gone around the back. Well done to Coops. He is now in the town. Really good use of smoke there, Coops. Really good use. I was really worried when you weren't in that town at the start of the game. So really well done for getting in there. Now can you stay in there is the question. Obviously, Lathan still has a lot of units dotted around. Tank has obviously taken a lot of damage so far. Recon Chopper also taken quite a lot of damage. Of the four or five Mortarstrike that went in there, only two squads remain. Chopper being taken down at this side. T-62 managing to get a couple of kills on the infantry there. This Mortarstrike taking fire from the Pivads and is very, very weak right now. Cohesion is very low. This was always going to be a difficult push. Coop should be very pleased to have got into that town. I was worried he wasn't going to do it. But good use of bombers, good use of smoke, got him into the town. Unfortunately, I think he's just outnumbered still. 
Lafan's making great use of the Pivads as an anti-ground unit as well as anti-air. HE Bomber coming in again, coming in for a strike at the front by the looks. Oh, this might get the Pivads. Oh, what a beautiful strike. Took a lot of firefighting. Falcon might get the finishing blow. No, it is out. The SU-24 HE is out. And he got a load of kills again with that HE Bomber. Really, really good use of the HE Bombers here, Coops. You should be really pleased with how effective you've been with that. I don't know if you can see how much you've killed at this point. But obviously, after the match, you will have known. But that was really effective. Lathans has lost a lot of vehicles in all of those bombing runs. Ooh, T-62 lost, I think, to the military police there. Coops getting a good push on at this top end, though. Bringing down some Sapri RPO here and some BMP-1Ps. He needs to be careful with those because there is a few tanks in here, including an Abrams. But if he can get up close and personal to those tanks, he will do a lot of damage. He can't see the CV. If he could, he could kill it immediately gets in range of these tanks and is taken out <sighs> yeah he took a lot of fire immediately from those unfortunately he's got no other anti-tank here so technically lathan's in a very good position however lathan's pushing out here means that the conkers are they in range no they aren't he might move into range though he bomber again from very nice very nice he bombing run once again from Coops. Coops being absolutely devastating in this match. Unfortunately, he has once again been pushed out of this point. But he did prove very effective with those bombing runs and did manage to get in there. And again, very effective with the bombing run up here. Loss of a jet there, I think, for Lathans. I think the Cub probably got the kill. Sapri RPO going to finish off these LRS here. Lots of reinforcements, however, coming in at the back there for Lathans, including lots of Engineer Flash. But most of the tank's dead. T-62 doing a good job there. We'll take a shot. Oh, took a Tor 2 and then a shot from the M60 to finish it off. Really good timing on those sh shots or rounds from uh, Lathans there. Command is all alone at the back. HE Bomber coming in. Where's it going? Is it dropping on this CV? It is. CV is trying to move. Oh, he got a run across there, but not on the CV, which is right in the corner. Unlucky, Coops. I thought you were going to have the CV there. That would have neutralized the points. Lathan's way out ahead now, well over halfway. With just under 27 minutes left of this match. Pua Coops is in a difficult position. He's lost a lot of units. Lafans has lost quite a lot, but I don't think quite as much. And obviously Lafans is just needing to sit in a defensive posture, which is the easier thing to do. But Lafans won't stop. Oh, he has moved his command out of that back corner. Interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Points now neutralized. He's moving it straight back in, though. SU-25 anti-tank coming in. Not sure what it's going for. Can we see? It is attacking. You can see the CV at the back. Oh, it lost targeting because it went back in the forest. It lost targeting and immediately started to get hit by the eye hawk at the back there. Will now be evac'd. Recon chopper dead. Command isn't actually back in the point, though, but it did... Save its life going back into the forest. Obviously, Lathan's now in control of the forest once more. Coop's lost all those units. Very little at the bottom for Coop's now. There's no way he's going to be able to push down here. It's going to be a while before he can push at the top again. He will need to build up forces. Seed coming in here for Lathan's with a load of Thunderbolts. What is all of this stuff doing? He's just got them on station by the looks of it at the back here. Here we go. Lathans is making a push. As I say, he doesn't need to, but he will, as we found in the last game as well. He's going to be quite aggressive, smoking all the way at the back here, just to stop anything back here being able to fire. And that's why all these Thunderbolts are in, so that as soon as these units are spotted, he can start bringing them in to take out the tanks and the vehicles. 
Here we go, straight away. BMP going to be hit by the Thunderbolt. Really effective. And the tank as well in the same pass. Cub at the back there. Weasel didn't fire its missile off. This Thunderbolt is going to go for it though. It's reloading at the moment, so it's not going to be able to fire back. The Cub is surely dead. Here it goes. Oh, it only took a bit of fire from the main cannon because of an attack ground. Because the unit is actually not visible anymore. Cub is now firing again. Missed. But Lathan's forces pushing super aggressively across here. The command infantry surely going to die. Command back in for Lathan's back to plus two. 24 minutes left to go. I think Pua Coops is out of this game already. Lathan solidifying control there. And there's the surrender. Commiserations, Coops. Interestingly, guys. Kills to losses. Almost identical. Considering how many units Lathan's appeared to have on the map. And the control on the map. Kills were actually pretty similar. And I tell you what, let's have a look at the kills and losses. I think that uh, Coop's Bombers got a lot of kills. Let's go down and have a look. Couple of kills there on the first run. Three kills there. Three kills there. Three kills there. He did get the Abrams as well. So that was an expensive loss. TCC2 got a couple of kills, but yeah. Bombers doing the majority of the work, perhaps, in terms of points there. And over on this side, Pivad was doing a good job against ground units as well as those. And obviously the Bradley getting a couple of kills. But good game again, guys. Commiserations, Coops, with losing the ground at the start there. Obviously, it was it was going to be difficult to fight back against Lathans. But well played to you both. Really good set of games. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Please do like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned to the channel for more Warno Cast. And also, please do remember to check out Lathans on Twitch. He streams quite a few days a week now. He's getting back into the game more. And he's really good at explaining what he's doing and his tactics and stuff. So he's well worth a watch. I'll see you all soon.